First of all, I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you for coming out on this Wednesday evening to join us for the special launch of the Contemporary Sikh Art Exhibition. It is uh, uh, an absolute delight from the Sikh Museum Initiative team to be able to use this space once again and re-imagine contemporary Sikh art in this space and share it with the people of Leicester, Leicestershire and beyond. Sikh art is one of those great gifts that we have been gifted. Gurbani is written to music, the expression of the soul, and art itself is often seen as a window into a, a different world. And so to have the opportunity to share with all of you the great works of art of many artists from around the world who have contributed to our exhibition as a place of inspiration, a place of uplift, a place of reflection, but also an encouragement. More and more we see in this world the power of art to move people, to shape lives, to change the courses of history through powerful messages. And so the medium art is such a powerful tool and it's something that we would want to encourage more and more people to get involved in, to realize the true extent of creative expression. My name is Gardar Singh. Gardar means the one who is the creator of all things and I like to think it is unlimited creative potential that is of the divine. And so it's wonderful to have an expression of that here in the art that we will be hosting. It's also wonderful to have so many people from different ages, generations and cultures and communities as part of this exhibition because from the Sikh Museum Initiative we're quite keen that people are able to enjoy and experience Sikh art with its own unique flavour and creativity in all the mediums that will be presented downstairs. Welcome back. It's been five years since the last exhibition. I can't believe it's been five years. There's people in this room that weren't born, I suspect, five years ago. So welcome everybody back to Leicester Adult Education. It's an absolute joy to have this exhibition here again. I think it was one of the best exhibitions we've had over the last 10 years that, that I've been involved um, in the gallery space here at the Adult Education College. Uh, we have a few certificates for some of the children. Put your hands up if you're here from Falcons Primary School. We have a number of certificates that we'll be handing out and I'm going to ask Gurinda Singh Mann, who is the director of the Sikh Music Initiative, to come up. And last but not least, I want to invite Mr. Jaspir Kormann, who is the head teacher of Falcons Primary School, to please come up as well. This is our way to say thank you for all the hard work that you've done in supporting this project. Do you know, I just wanted to say that it's an enormous privilege um, for our children to be offered the opportunity um, to take part and you know when you want to build children's confidence it's things like this it's sort of inspired everybody across the school to create a piece of work the hard bit was when these people said to me choose about three or four pieces I'm afraid I, it, it, Qatar came and there was like 48 and I had to convince him that he, to take all of them but he was kind enough to take at least 20 of them um, and you know this is our future generation and what they will see out there children are people who will further inspire them and that's what fills us with pride but equally thank you so much for giving Falcons this opportunity and thank you to all the community who continues to support us because we are a school here where we've not just got Sikh children here we've got children from all faiths and backgrounds who have joined together done collaborative pieces of work and have been incredibly inspired by the artwork that we often connect with through the Sikh initiative so thank you so much thank you everyone
I'd also like to say thank you to the unsung heroes and heroines, the parents who have encouraged support, provided the artistic materials for their children to create the artwork, but also for taking the time to bring them here this evening. So a round of applause for the parents. I'm now going to hand over to Gurinder Singh Man, the director of the Sikh Museum Initiative. Thanks very much, Qatar, and uh, thanks very much to the Leicester Adult Education Centre here for giving us this great opportunity to actually um, come and present again an absolutely fantastic exhibition here in the heart of Leicester. Now, Kerry mentioned that we'd actually been here before and we'd been here back in 2018 and I remember standing on these stairs here in 2018 when we'd launched the exhibition but we'd also launched the Anglo Sikh Virtual Museum as well. Now in the opening slides uh, we did actually see some of the work that the Sikh Museum Initiative has done but the key point is that we are a platform. We're a platform for not just ourselves but for other people as well. So what we try and do is whilst we create content with we did it here in Leicester, an exhibition on the anglo Sikh Wars, which was, went global, went viral at that time. So we've been investing in digital technologies. So we run the world's first 3D Sikh museum, again, all here in Leicester. And uh, yeah, we've done lectures, we do exhibitions. So we go from strength to strength. And what we wanted to do was, after the COVID period, we wanted to go back to some of the artists' artwork and just have something which involves and gets people together. And there's nothing that gets people together than artwork. So I'm going to pay a great homage to all the artists who have contributed to this exhibition. We've had, we've had so many uh, submissions, we unfortunately even had to turn people down as well, which is not something we wanted to do, but still we managed to get 100 artworks in the exhibition. On top of that, what we wanted to do was show different expressions of art as well. So as a result, we have 3D printed material. Um, that's courtesy of Taranjit Singh, one of our collaborators for many years. And interestingly, we were given various kind of artworks, photography, which we unfortunately had to turn down as well. But we also have a surprise in terms of Fulgari as well, which is traditional Punjabi textiles. So we've done something special as well. And again, thanks very much to Baljit and uh, Balbir Flora uh, for actually kind of coordinating and get that, getting that sorted out for us as well. We're not going to go on too much, but we are going to then go into the next ceremony basically, which is the cutting of the ribbon um, in the section over there. So what I'd like to do is if I can get the artists if you're, if you're an artist, you've contributed to the exhibition, can I get you to go first towards, um, towards, the, towards the stairs, basically? Please cut the ribbon alongside all of the artists and the fishing <laughs>
Alvin Deco from Cast Art and I'm based in the Midlands and I've started doing some uh, what do you say contemporary art and fine art um, in my spare time mostly to um, as a means of relaxation connecting to the divine and hopefully portrays through my work for everyone else um, I use a mix of mediums from acrylic paints to ink um, calligraphy inks watercolors so whichever sort of resonates at the time when I'm creating pieces um, most of the time they're not planned I feel that I get myself into a zone of meditation and whatever flows at the time I sort of go with with what I feel um, hope you guys like it take care thank you very much My name is Harinder Singh. I've conceptualized and compiled a beautiful hardback book called Jewels from Sikh Wisdom, A Journey of Discovery, with artwork by the world-famous twin sisters, the Singh Twins. And over here you can see four of their artwork over here. And they have compiled and presented a large number of artwork, which they've done as a seva over two years. And it's a book on Gurbani, and the artwork represents the text. It complements the text in the book as well. It's called Jewels from Sikh Wisdom, A Journey of Discovery, which you can uh, you know, access from sikhartuk.co.uk and also jewelsfromsikhwisdom.co.uk. So uh, this is a great privilege to come to this exhibition and not only have the Sikh Twins artwork over here, but artwork from across the UK and across the world as well, which Gurinda Singh Man has beautifully put together. And it's a great privilege to see young artists exhibiting their work over here, which we have never seen before. And it's, uh, it's very, very inspiring, you know, for people to come over here and see that Sikh art is not just uh, limited to Soba Singh. It has so many different branches now and more and more young artists are coming up and bringing in their own interpretation of the gurus and their lives and things like that. So I'm really pleased to have come over here and uh, been part of this exhibition. Thank you very much. imagined it and if it doesn't and if it doesn't um, go your way then you can make the most of it anyway the meaning of my artwork is that I wanted to support the Sikh students and academics in university trying to help them as much as I possibly can and today I'm exhibiting uh, for my artwork. 
artworks behind me. Uh, it's part of the uh, Leicester Think Museum Initiative uh, in Leicester Adult College. So um, today has been a great day just being able to see so many different artists come together with the community um, and speak about their art um, and what their passion is as well. So uh, my art is uh, uh, scratch art based. Um, it's all spiritual, no planning, no tracing, and it's to do with um, portraying the energy and power and revolution, uh, revolutionary aspect of Guruji as well, um, and thick history uh, as well as our culture too. My name is Taran Singh, I'm from Birmingham and I'm a 3D sculpture artist and these are some of the um, pieces that I brought here today. These are 3D printed sculptures. Um, I'm here at the Contemporary Seek Art Exhibition um, in Leicester um, and I think it's a really good initiative for young artists and new artists to come and show their work, established artists to come and you know express themselves in different ways uh, and I hope that you can make it down here at some point to see some of the artwork um, and I hope you really enjoy the exhibition. Why Gurji Ka Khalsa? Why Gurji Ki Fateh? I'm Nabi, a commentary based artist. Um, this is some of my art pieces that I've um, originally did. So this one is the Leap of Faith, which shows the bravement and encouragement of all the Gurus in our history. And yeah, it just basically shows the emotion of what they did and how they felt the battles. This is um, the myth, and this is a people an interpretation of whatever you want to see it as. And this is the um, image of a thing doing bhakti and obviously the mist is all the inner emotion of his inner guru and the feelings of what he feels when he does bhakti. And today's been a great day coming along to see many artists around the whole world looking at their inspiration and building in what I can do in the future with my artwork. So thank you to Brenda Singman and thank you for holding this exhibition and hope to see more in the future. Hello, my name is Steve Barrett. I, I work as, in my full-time job, I'm a careers advisor, but I do part-time illustration. And one of those pieces is on view here. Um, this is a piece that covers an illustrated life of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh. And it looks at five elements illustrated from his life. So we have the the meeting with the Brits in Amritsar in 1809 for the treaty um, that was passed. We have him here as a warrior, sort of uh, middish life. The very young Ranjit Singh is illustrated bottom left. And this figure here is, um, this illustrated piece here is Sadakur, who was a great influence on Ranjit Singh. As she was a warrior herself and uh, went into battle and of course the whole piece is um, centered by the older grander Ranjit Singh illustrated down the center. Now I tend to work mainly in black and white ink um, because that is something that I enjoy doing. And what inspired you to do that? I think generally I was inspired by traditional old black and white illustrators from the 40s, 50s, 60s um, that uh, used to 
illustrate in black and white. This was done as a favour from a friend of mine, Garinda, who is the director of the Sikh Initiative, and uh, we came with this idea today. My name is Amrit and um, I've been an artist practically all my life. It's something that I've um, grown up with. I've been an art teacher for 40 years, but in the last, I would say 20 years, I've been focusing more on my own faith and uh, spiritual art. And one of my most challenging aspect of art is women's issues. Some of the um, statements and Barney's that Gunanik Devi wrote about, for example, why call her bad from her kings are born. It's something that embeds all my artwork in any shape or form. Another a uh, passion of mine is I'm learning uh, Kirtan, I'm learning uh, Adilraba. So my art will have here, it, this is called Guru uh, Gobind Singh Ji's Darbar. Here you have the whole family doing Kirtan and playing an instrument. And it's really to show that women were at the foreground and front of spreading Sikh, uh, Sikhism and the faith and instruments and um, so basically my um, training was in Indian miniature art so you'll see um, depictions of the women with the transparencies like for example in this one here is from why uh, Kola Bad from King Zabon and then on the other end I, I've got a um, depiction of Gunanik Devji's whole uh, family his Mataji, his uh, Bibi Nankiji, his Karwali, and his son's wife. And one of the amazing things that Gunanik Devji preached is that you don't need to go to the um, mountains, you don't need to go to the forest to become spiritual. Um, you don't have to lose anything. You can be in the household, you can raise your children, you can. Um, for me to see other artists is such an inspiration for me to see which direction their work is going and um, for me I've seen that we're all on the same path you know? but we all have our different identities on how to express. So my name is Claudia Webb, I'm the Member of Parliament for Leicester East and I'm here at the Sikh Museum Initiative celebrating uh, art and heritage in terms of Sikh faith, in terms of all of its excellence. It's absolutely brilliant to see the vast range of artistic talent come on show here in Leicester to see my very own local school, the Falcon uh, School here, alongside artists from Leicester and right across the UK, really exemplifying the, all that is excellent about Sikh art and culture and really making use of the full range of opportunities. It's so very important 
that this art of this quality and this form is open to all communities and all audiences and the fact that this showcase gives that opportunity to artists that may not have otherwise been in a mainstream art studio that they're here and that we are celebrating we are engaging and we are looking at the vast range of talent is to uh, be commended and I really enjoyed myself I hope you all come and see this brilliant artwork and just come and have a look at it it's fantastic brilliant and it's open and free to all to engage I'm Jigdev Singh Virdi from Gravesend. Uh, we're here because Grinder Singh Man, a very good friend of ours, he invited us to come here to the launch of this contemporary Sikh art exhibition. It's been absolutely brilliant to meet all the artists and see their work, which is a whole range of uh, different types of, and styles of artwork. And it's really, uh, I think, quite inspiring that they've worked with the school as well locally. So there's work done by school children, um, there's work done by artists, young and old, male and female. And some of it is really amazing work. And I think it would be great if people from different parts of the country could come and have a look at it. Um, and I think once it's finished here, they could actually take some of this work around the country as well, to different places. We would certainly welcome bringing it to Gravesend and show it at the Gurdwara. Why Guruji Ka Khalsa, Why Guruji Ki Fateh. Thank you very much uh, for the Sikh channel for attending today, the Contemporary Sikh Art Exhibition where we have exhibited works locally, nationally and internationally and where we've given a platform for various artists to actually showcase great artwork, 3D printed materials, for gardies and just give everybody who's come to visit today at the launch a great interest in the medium of art. With the Gosu, our gurus, with our ethias, we tend to find that it's always 1D, which means essentially it's looked from one angle. But what we're trying to do with the Seat Museum Initiative is to give this platform to artists and where you can actually see the expressionism, you can see the beauty, you can see the art, which is actually shown in different ways. So with all the Sangata all around the world, it's great that we can have all these artists turn up in one place and actually showcase their great artwork. So essentially, as part of this exhibition, we've had international artists who've been able to provide some excellent pieces uh, covering different themes. One especially is from an artist in, from Europe called Rin Rio. And when we were actually doing the exhibition, she wanted to submit some artwork, but I also expressed to her whether she could do something specifically for this exhibition. So what she's actually done is created, I would consider, a masterpiece where she's depicted the Harmandar Saab after the attack of Ahmed Shah Abdali. So Ahmed Shah Abdali, he did Hamle on the Punjab during Tarmes Sadi, which is the 18th century. And essentially, what Rin Rio is trying to portray here is the fact that Jodo Ahmed Shah Abdali has created all this kind of nonsense, the debris all over the Harmandar Saab there is still the light which is still shining above all the blood, all the blood from the martyrs, all the excrement, all the animals. What we still have is the light of the Guru still shining. So for me, this is a very, very special piece and great kudos for Rin Rio for actually creating this piece specifically for this exhibition. Now, normally what happens is when we have art, uh, art exhibitions, it's normally about one particular artist. But we've managed to get many artists on this one platform and the different degrees of expressions they can show is absolutely mind-blowing. Our team, once we put the call for artists, we were overwhelmed with the amount of artwork that was actually submitted to us and unfortunately we also had to turn people down as well, which isn't always a great thing, but just shows you to the success of what this exhibition is about. This exhibition is going to be running for about eight weeks, uh, starting on the 21st of March up to the 30th of May. And it gives visitors a chance to view all these artworks, Fulgaris as well, so we've had some excellent Fulgaris being displayed here at the exhibition as well. And 
and it just gives people that insight onto Sikh values, Sikh traditions and our Atyas as well. And essentially we want more artists to actually get involved in the future as well. And we really did that Dunbar to the Sikh channel for covering this uh, great exhibition today and we would want all of you to visit as well. Why Gurjika Khalsa? Why Gurjiki Fateh?